So we're here at Arm Techon, and uh, you were on stage today. And yesterday there was some announcements, right? And sure. What's going on? At, uh, at AMD, we announced that we would be building ARM-based server CPUs uh, based on the 64-bit uh, ARM process, process uh, technology. And uh, we'd be delivering those in 2014. And so AMD is going to offer both x86 and ARM-based server CPUs going forward. So there's this huge new market of uh, cloud companies, yeah. Google, Facebook, Amazon. Is that what it's for? That's exactly right. I think those are the, the innovators in the community. Those are the early adopters. Those are the ones for whom compute is used to generate profit. And they're looking for lower power, more efficient, um, more compute per dollar servers. And it's, it's into those servers that these new ARM CPUs will go. So can you explain a little bit uh, some of the new things that are uh, in this new uh, Cortex-A50 and why you like using it? Sure. For, for us in the server world, the 64-bit uh, addressability was crucial. What we're seeing is a growth in demand for DRAM in servers. And 32-bit uh, presented a set of limitations. Even if you use the PAE address extensions, the 32-bit still uh, was limiting and what we found is in the server world most of uh, the interesting customers are our 64-bit OS's and use at least some 64-bit libraries. So the combination of uh, OS compliance and the ability to put down more memory was crucial in our decision to, to go to the 64-bit uh, ARM technology. So can you customize in terms of how many cores and uh you take away maybe the GPU if it's not needed, or how does that, how do you design these? Uh, sure, how's it be? I, I think these are going to be multi-core. Um, we're going to use uh, our rich portfolio of IP. Uh, you know, at AMD, we we sold millions and millions of, of server CPUs. Uh, we have IP that, that ranges I/O to memory controller. We have process technology. Um, and deep expertise in the requirements of, of servers, um, we will marry that technology uh, to, the, uh, to the AMD cores and offer uh, ARM-based solutions as well as x86 solutions as, lo as well as APUs going forward. So, uh, do you, it's, it's kind of a big deal for AMD to say, hey, we're making an ARM processor. It's kind of news, right? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's, you know, the... Um, there were two keepers of the faith in x86, um, Intel and AMD. And uh, what we announced yesterday was at AMD, um, we believe that uh, customers want choice, that there are customers that are going to want x86, and there are customers that are going to want uh, ARM-based solutions. And it's not our place to tell customers uh, what they want. It's our place to build solutions that, that solve their problems. And, and we're going to deliver both. So when you have all that IP and expertise in making the x86 for so many years, uh, going forward, like you can kind of like use, for example, the key technology blocks can yeah. be reused. I think that's exactly right. I think these technology blocks can be can be used, um, and you have expertise in, in what customers want out of a server part. Um, of all the ARM licensees, we have the deepest uh, reservoir of knowledge about what a server part needs to be, and we have the, the deepest portfolio of IP for, for addressing those needs. But the core is only one part, all right? You have an entire SOC to build, and there are, are many major blocks of, of, of IP that need to be placed in that SOC. And those are things we've been doing for many years and have been doing really well and have, have millions and millions of, of happy customers. So we're, we're going we're gonna to take those blocks of IP and combine them with, uh, with cores from, from ARM and put together best-in-class processors. So you were the founder of uh, C-Micro? I was. Yeah? And uh, so AMD uh, acquired C-Micro how long ago? AMD acquired C-Micro in March of, yeah. of 2012. And one of the, the key pieces of IP we brought was the, the Freedom Fabric. And the fabric will be embedded in, uh, in AMD's ARM-based uh, CPUs. And that fabric will allow you to link hundreds or thousands of these ARM-based uh, server CPUs together and deliver dramatic efficiencies 
from clusters uh, of these ARM-based uh, processors. Is that a supercomputer or is it just processing a lot of small things in, over the whole area? Yeah, that's a great question. It's bringing technology that in the past was constrained only to the supercompute market and bringing it to the mainstream server market. And that's exactly what, what IBM's Blue Gene does, is they link together many small processors together. They talk about it as running low and slow. But what we found is in the biggest of data centers, they have massively parallel workloads. And that's particularly well suited for arrays of smaller processors. ARM processors linked together via a fabric uh, are best in class solutions for that. Can you say how big the market has been thus far for C-Micro uh, until you got acquired and how is it going to be in the next few years? Um, we haven't announced uh, our, our sales or revenue. We're now part of a public company. But we will say that, that our sales are, are, are growing phenomenally well. We're beating expectations and um, we are at, we believe, an inflection point in the server market. That for many years, um, maybe 95 through 2008, there was very little innovation in the server market. And over the last several years with C-Micro, um, with Calzada, with some other companies, with ARM's announcement today, what you see is a burgeoning ecosystem, flourishing uh, ecosystem to provide innovation in servers. Some of it's in the x86 market, much of it's in the ARM space, um, there are fabrics, there's uh, better ways of, of, of delivering server compute. So with the ARM Power Chromebook announced recently, like the thin client model is really going to happen. That requires more that's, cloud computing. That's more compute in the cloud. And I think, you know, we were, uh, for many years, Intel was worried about the thin client model as, as if it were an OS. And what, what happened really was the client side changed, right? Our cell phones became the client. And what that meant was that the heavy computing w was done in the data center, was done in the cloud. And that when the price of, of bandwidth became low enough, it was easy to, to bring your, your delivery mechanism with you, whether it was an iPad, whether it was a Samsung or a Kindle, or a Samsung Galaxy or a Kindle or your phone, all right? That displayed all the interesting answers that were arrived at by, by servers in the cloud. And so the continued proliferation of these devices drives compute demand in the cloud and creates opportunity for ARM-based servers.